Hi guys, it's uh, Jerry here again uh, for the AQA Certificate for the Mathematics GCSE uh, Educational Video on Chapter 1.4, Algebra and Number. This video is graded Grade C, and I guess up to now, I don't need to explain that anymore. So if you are not sure about the grading, go check the introduction video. If not, then... Um, I will think you know what that means, so now let's proceed to part 1, facts. In this chapter, there are three things to learn. Uh, the first one is to combine comparisons, which are the a percentage of another number questions from chapter 1.1. If you're not sure, go back and check out that episode. Um, second, use linear solving skills from chapter uh, 1.3. Uh, where we did uh, how to solve linear equations and that would be used in this chapter and so it's good to go back and recap um, third um, solving equation using a given ratio um, to solve equations you need uh, skill uh, not sk well you need skills and also information given and the information will be given as a ratio instead of the usual number or fraction so you have to think about that and deal with it so this is question one a is 50 percent of b and b to c is three to two what is a in terms of c well this one will combine a lot of the skills used in the last few um chapters or parts and the first thing you would do is as um, part 1.1 said turn the f uh, percentage into a fraction and there's the notes right here and to turn percentage into a fraction will be as follows then it's just a matter of rearranging to get this. They are both identical. Uh, it's just remember the river method. 50 goes to the bottom and 100 goes to the top because it became a division. So um, that would be step one. Step two is put ratio into fraction because we can only deal with one set of data we can turn we don't know how to turn ratio into percentage nor do we know to turn a percentage into ratio but we know how to turn them both into fraction and that is what we do b over c equals 3 to uh, over 2 is what you should have got and with some uh, linear equation scale, you know it's 2b equals 3c. So, now we have two sets of equation. What should we do? Well, uh, that is quite simple. It is called a substitution method. Substitution is um, quite simple. It only needs you to put a known number as into another equation. So we know b is equal to a uh, times 100 over 50. We put that into b and get this equation. This is the combined one. 2 times b essentially equals 3c, which is true. Now, what do we do is to simplify, like um, we usually do and I don't need to explain that that should give you this 2a minus 4 uh, not minus uh, 2a times 4 equals 3c that is not good enough of obviously we need to do some more linear equations and solve it and the next step would be equal to 8a equals 3c obviously simplification then answer equals a in terms of c is 3c over 8
So since there aren't a lot to talk about in this um, chapter, um, I'll come up with the tips. Please revisit chapter 1.1, 1.2, and 1.3 because they contain basically everything you would need to know about this chapter. So yeah, let's get some question going. Sorry for that, uh, this is another example that I forgot to tell you guys. So, um, question 2. What is 240 increased by 50%? Well, we know how to find 50% uh, of a number. If it's increased by that, you simply add it. But there is a quicker way. This equation. Why does this work? I will explain. Because 1 is 240 itself, and 50% is 240 times 50%, which is, you guessed it, the percentage of that number. So this is uh, one of the uh, way to do that. It also works with decreased which is minus instead of plus. So that would uh, be helpful, hopefully. And I'll explain how that works. The one have to be, become a fraction as well as the percentage, which will go to 240 times 100 over 100 equals one, plus 50 over 100 equals 50%. And simplification, goes to here, 240 times 50, uh, 150 over 100, then it's just normal simplification or calculator to get number 360. So that is it for examples. Now proceed to questions. So these are the questions that I'm going to give you, and they are quite straightforward. It wouldn't take a long while. So in the count of five, I release the answers in five, four, three, two, one. So these are the answers to the questions that I've set, and I hope you've got them all right. And if you find some of them, uh, with, uh, cannot solve them and find the find it difficult. Uh, check the old videos or find a math teacher to help you with or maybe I'm just wrong so yeah um, if you find my uh, if you find a mistake for myself then please do a personal message or leave a comment and uh, this is Jerry uh, if you learned something uh, leave a like comment or subscribe and I'll see you next time.